The Undead in Oedipus Reborn, A Daemonology, Part 2. Oedipus Revenant ends with Oedipus discovering some disturbing truths about himself. Unwittingly, he carried out regicide against his father, Laius, committed incest with his mother, Jocasta, and caused a plague in Thebes blamed on the dead. Worse still, his parents tried to murder him as an infant, mutilated his feet with an iron pin to prevent his undead return, and their attempts may have failed. Oedipus might be a type of living dead that the Greeks called Deuteropotmos, or second fated. As a precaution, ancient Greeks treated anyone they reasonably believed had died abroad and later returned, seemingly alive and well as possibly undead. If Oedipus actually is second fated, then punishing him for his crimes with exile or execution presents Thebes with a dilemma. Risk unleashing an undead ghoul into the countryside, or paradoxically attempt to kill what has already died. To resolve this dilemma, the prophet Tiresias insists in the epilogue of Oedipus Revenant that Oedipus undergo a ritual of rebirth. The ancient Roman historian Plutarch explains that the rebirth ritual consists of priestesses washing, swaddling, and breastfeeding purported second faded revenants like newborns. And the analytic psychologist Joseph L. Henderson suggests that this ritual transpired within catacombs beneath the temples of Asclepius, the divine hero of medicine who cured the dead. Thus, in the prologue of Oedipus Reborn, the ritual of rebirth tries to spiritually cure Oedipus by turning the suspected undead second fated into the living twice-born, or dithyrambos in Greek. Yet, if mutilation fails to prevent the undead's return, and plague amulets fail to avert the undead, as some personages fear in Oedipus Revenant, then the possibility that the ritual of rebirth could fail to cure the undead haunts Oedipus Reborn. But a potentially second-fated Oedipus is not the only historically-based undead in this play.